And, and then all of a sudden, when, when the doctor says, uh, diagnose you with some type of bipolar mentality, you say, well, wait a minute, doc. Well, give me something for that. Well, the Bible mentioned of people that had spirits or demons that had attached themselves to folks. They didn't take a pill. Well, well. They didn't go to the physician for a quick fix. But they called on the man of God. And the man of God and the elders came and laid hands on them and prayed for them. And that spirit came out of them. A lot of times we want to we want to look for the world's excuse or the world the world's definition on how to cure something. Well, and the Bible says that sometimes these things these things come through only what prayer and fasting. fasting. Mm -hmm. Why does it take the pastor to call a fast on an issue that you have mm -hmm. when you can say, Lord, Thank today? You, now, if you're married, of course, the Bible says that you consult your spouse and say, uh, uh, sweetheart, uh, I desire to fast because in fasting I am I am sanctifying myself unto God and, and I'm separating from the, the flesh. So so I want it to be an agreement because as soon as you call a fast and, and you haven't consulted your, your spouse, your husband, your wife, we're gonna make that clear here, your husband or your wife, amen, your husband or your wife, I didn't say your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband or your wife, uh -huh. here come the devil. Amen. Amen. Here he come. Here he come. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't ask you if she could fast. And now here you come. Well, look now. Your body's not yours. It's mine. It's not, not, not that joke is gonna quote part scripture. <laughs> your body ain't yours. It's mine. I'm your husband, and you didn't consult me. And now, and now there's confusion, and now there comes anger, and 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 and, and you're trying to to fast for a purpose, and and you want God to meet you where you're at. But instead now, you, you're out of order and you're wondering now, how come this thing's all out of order? Why is there this friction? It's because it wasn't done in decency and in order. You didn't seek the word on how to do this thing and, and say that I must consult my and let my, my loved one know I'm doing this. I'm setting this up and, and we're in agreement. Yes, we are, we're in agreement. So I'm not going to come at you no funny kind of way because then all of a sudden the Lord going to say, see what she doing? She fasting on her and what you doing? You feeling like, oh, uh, and now all of a sudden you're like, well, you caused me to go out. <laughs> The devil is a lie. Yes, he wow. is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The devil is a lie. Yes, he is. We know that in Genesis, the Bible speaks of the serpent being subtle. Well, translating to cunning. The devil's cunning. That 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 fellow, he he's slick. He's always on his job. He don't care if it's raining outside. <laughs> He don't care if it's 110 degrees outside. Well, He's on his job. Yes, he is. But we're the ones who become slack, mm -hmm. lackadaisical. All right. we, we, we think everything's good. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, here it comes, gut punch. Ooh. Mm -hmm. But if we haven't prayed up and stored up any of God's word in us, so that we might not sit against it, all of a sudden, here comes that old fella with, with, with a response. Uh, some words that people say curse like a sailor. All of a sudden, them words come out. It's like, oh, I thought you were saved. See, uh huh, uh huh. Woman, you've been going to that church. You still the same. So that's that's the devil's way of, of, of tearing down Amen. God's people. Amen. See, you supposed to be saved, hmm. but you just saved. Ah, uh, but then the Holy Ghost kicks in and says, ah, nah, 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 nah. wait, 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 wait. Stop it. Repent. Go get it right. So you don't expect that. The devil wants you to sit on that. That's he made right. me mad. Uh -huh. I ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. He made me mad. She made me mad. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Ghost, in its convicting, converting, and guiding to all truth, mm -hmm. will, will, will have you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Have you sitting on pins and needles and say, you got to go get that thing right. All right. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Somebody in here is a witness to that. Amen. Come, come, Amen. No, but I can't be mad at you, baby. I'm sorry. You know what? I done made a mistake. Amen. I remember uh, before coming into ministry, a lady at the barber shop over in Linwood on Long Beach Boulevard told me that king size beds wasn't made for black folks. I said, what? <laughs> All my life I wanted a king size bed. Now you telling me they're not made for black folks. She said, think about it, sweetie. You're getting ready to be preaching now. 
She said, we come up in a full-size bed. Maybe a twin. Oh, Lord. She said, can you imagine your husband mad at you and go to bed in a twin-size or a full-size bed? <laughs> and that leg touch his leg. All of a sudden, that brother, he's repenting for everything he's ever done. That's how we ought to be with Christ. He ought to be that intimate. Amen. That, that his spirit is in us. It touches us and says, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Get it right. Get it 